All right, what's going on, everyone? I'm going to give it just a couple of minutes to um, get some more people in here. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah. We are going to be opening some Digital Hazard. These just came out today. Um, and, yeah. Let me get this started. Yes, hi, Ralph. All right, cool. So, like I said, um, we are going to be opening some digital hazard boxes today. I'm very excited for this set. This is kind of one of the main reasons I'm getting back into Digimon card collecting and selling. Um, because this is the set that I've wanted since the game has started. I wanted something that is strictly tamers, something that is purely just tamers. And um, this set is finally here. Yeah. All right, cool. But like I also said, um, I guess I didn't. I am going to be retooling this YouTube page into my newest um, venture, which I'm calling it, as you can see, right down there um it's overseas etc etc and this is going to be a shop that will encompass all of my online as well as um i'm going to be hopefully by the end of this year setting up a brick and mortar shop that i'll be able to purchase stock and be able to sell from that which um that's kind of cool i'm very excited about that uh but yeah so let's get this started. Boom, look at that. Digital Hazard with Gallant Mon there on the front. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a good set. Ralphie? He's making a lot of noise. He wants to be wants to be heard, wants everyone to know that he's here. Ah, shouldn't have eaten an apple before I started. But I will be opening these. So I'm just kind of stretching this out a little bit. I'm waiting for more people to, to come in. But I am going to be opening not one, but potentially three of these bad boys. Because I want to get some of these Takato and Guillaumon special cards out of here. And um, I think I got everything ready. I got all of my sleeves. I got all of my top loaders i think we are ready to rock it yeah yeah are you ready cool i don't know if you're if anyone's actually watching this or if you're watching this live replay later welcome from the past so let's get this owen what do we got here so our box topper of this box is imperial dramon dragon mode okay Cool. Cool. Exciting. I wonder if I could stream this both on my channel and this channel. Give me a second. I'm going to see if I can do something like that. No. It's, it's too much work to, to do all that. But, yeah. Ooh. It's got a cool texture to it. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. See that texture there? Looks nice. That looks really nice. Look at that. Try to get some more light on it. Cool. Well, let's get this party started. So our first pack of this new set of Digital Hazard. Ooh, I need to go grab my trash real quick so I can keep my graveyard. All right, cool. That's much better. So our first pack for today of this new set. Again, I'm hoping for, ooh, looks like I already got a good one. Some Guillaumon and Takato um, alternative art, whatever the hell they're called. Andromon, when an opponent Digimon attacks, you may suspend this Digimon to force the opponent to attack instead. Blocker, okay, yeah. Don't know why I didn't just read that first. It's been a while since I played this, so I'm... Trying to get back up to speed with all this. Hmm. 
Okay. What do we got here? Locomon. Nice. Ice Devimon. Okay. Caesarmon. ADR06. Horn Striker? While you have a Mother D Reaper in play, this Digimon gains Rush. Huh. I notice it doesn't have a level. I haven't even like looked into anything about this set because I wanted to be surprised by it. Um, but I do know, like, I've seen the Geomon and Takato alternative arts. <laughs> yeah, there we go, Gigamon. All right. Monodramon. We got Antelamon and Ryo, or Ryo Akiyama. So, not bad, not bad for the starts. Put those over there. Let's continue. So, pack number two is underway. Cubimon. Interesting, it's a it's a common. Locomon. I feel like I'm gonna see a lot of Locomon in this Caesarmon. There's another horn striker. Oh, I guess I should put it back in frame. Um, Gorillamon. ADR 09 Gatekeeper. Hey, another Gigamon. I'll take it. This this what this pack feels like deja vu. I got literally almost the exact same pack there. What What the hell's going on? Digimon. Okay, there we go. Finally, a new card. <laughs> I guess we had that Gatekeeper. That was a new one in there, too. Growlmon. There we go. Hoping to pull the entire Geomon line from here. Pendulum Feet. High-speed plug-in D. Um, I got a Searcher. Beast... Fist of the Beast King, plug in S, Death Slinger, War Growlmon, cool, cool. We got a Reaper and ooh, we got Justimon Blitz Arm. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Put those back there. Nothing. I don't think so super exciting just yet, but we're only four packs in. Let's go. So we got Strike Demon. How do you say this? Mephistimon? Okay. Ground Locomon. Got another plug in S. Got an Optimizer. Creep Hands. What the hell is a Creep Hand? Labramon. Xiaomon. Kenta. Ooh, I got a blue card. That's cool. And we have a Cyberdramon. Cool. I do like that option, option foil. That is nice. That looks great. All right. We got Gargomon. There we go. Got the Terrier Mine line coming in. Cubimon. Another Searcher. Pallades Head. Okay. Gorillamon. Fist of the Peace King. Bubbles. Parasite Mon. Ooh. I like that. I don't remember that one. Kazu, we got a Dobermon and ooh, Sakuyamon. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's continue. A Feastimon, Ground Locomon. I'm gonna have fun just kind of organizing all these. And oh, there's a Geomon card. Um, and just trying to look at like what the meta of the game is now. Reapermon. It's got reboot and ooh, it's not bad. A mother D Reaper and ooh. Is this an yeah, this isn't this, this looks like an alt art of Golfmon? It's got some good texture on that. Look at that. Let's go ahead and sleeve this bad boy. And I'll sleeve all the the big cards that I pull out of here. Everything that I sell, I am sleeving. So don't worry if you're watching this and you're like, I don't know if I want to buy from this guy. Um, it's all just going back in there, and I will sleeve it as soon as possible. But Golfmon, not bad. I'm going to put it in one of these. Look at that. Not bad. Love it. All right. Let's continue. Whoosh. Let's just do this. Huh. All 
right. Let me just check something real quick. Make sure that. Might have been a bad time to go live. Nobody's, nobody's around. But that's okay. Actually, let me post this one other place. Then we can continue, y'all. like I got a baby card at the back can tell right there little digitama maybe it's another alt art Ooh, I know that there's some baby alt arts in this pendulum feet Taoman nice another fireball got Rika and oh mother D Reaper it, it's a okay cool cool Let's see, what do we got next? Optimizer creep hands. Got a parasite mon. A Geomon in the blue card. There's that Geomon I was looking for. So call this what you will. <laughs> but I am sleeving him. Alright. On to the next one. Let's see, we got Strike Demon. Fixiemon, okay, cute, cute. Reapamon again. There's Terriermon and I and Mako. All right, I love these, these little um, sorters. I don't know if you've seen these before, but. They come in like this, and you can rearrange and do whatever you want with them. It's really, it's really kind of cool. All right. Let's see. Andromon, Cubimon. We got Cyberdramon and another Dobermon. All right. Pokemon, Andromon, Cubimon. I feel like I'm getting a lot of the same cards. I know that there's only... Oh, I haven't gotten her yet. Um, I know there's only like a handful in this set because it's not a full big set. But, ooh, Renamon, there it is. And Gardramon. This one feels thicker than normal, but cute. Cool. Love it. How many more do we get left? One, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So after this one, that'll be half of the box. I want to get back into this. You know, I want to get back into um, helping players get the cards that they want. Um, I know previously with the Digimon card game shop, we did a lot of booster breaks or box breaks with specific colors. So like if you put your money down on yellow, you would get every yellow card that came out of here. It's kind of kind of hard now because everything's dual colored and then white with um the omnimon fifth set that kind of threw a lot of things out of whack <gasps> Ooh, i got a beelzemon Ooh. again call this nepotism whatever you want but i am sleeving that beelzemon all right let's get another one of these in here we can do half of the box in each of those Otherwise, it'll start overflowing. Locomon. Oh, there's a good card, I think, coming up. I'm excited. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, Gummymon. Cute. There's a Jerry Takato and Mega Dramon. I was expecting something more exciting, but whatever. That just means that there's more coming up in this box. So there we go. Takato, welcome, welcome. I hope to find your alternative art version today. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, Hotmon. We got 
ADR01Jerry, Renamon, and is this the secret parallel art? Is this the secret parallel art? I am going to throw up if this is. Give me one second to check this. Oh my gosh. Did I really just pull this? Did I? No. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No way. No way. We just pulled the best card in this set. Oh, it's not the alternative art, but it is still a $40 card. That is awesome. $40 for this secret Bezelman card. Hell yeah. I got to post about this real quick. Give me one second. There we go. Sorry, had to ham it up for this little screenshot. <laughs> and then copy this. All right. All right, cool. Wow. All right, so for our first secret rare, rare um, our first box, literally, I got both Bezelmons. I got the regular and the blast mode. So that's pretty good. <laughs> that's that's pretty. Wow. Okay. Cool. Well, not, now I just need to find that uh, Guillaumon and Takato alternative art, and I will consider the money I put down on these boxes well spent. We got Kalamon and there is a Marin Marini Angemon. I don't know what you are, but get in there. All right. Whew. Coming off that little Bielzamon pole. That was good. Hopefully I can get the alt art of that. That would be even sicker. I just looked it up online. That one looks so cool. Yaman. Yeah, All right, we got a uh, Shuchung Wong. We got a Henry Wong, and we got an Imp Mon. So those last three cards I haven't seen in this box yet. All right. Just looking for anything new. Eh, I think I got a searcher already. Death Slinger. Got a Reaper and another Guillaumon. Love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> it's one sweet card. That is a sweet card for one of the best Digimon. Hell yeah, it is. All right. Got a Jerry. Got another I and Makata. Ooh, oh, we got the alternative art for Dobermon. Yeah. All right, this box is hitting for those purple pulls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, get in there. Look at that. It's hard to, to, to really kind of get it at an angle. Oh, there it goes. So you can see that texture. Look at that little background texture. It, ooh, very nice, very nice. All right, what do we got here? So we pulled one secret. We pulled one alternative art. I don't know what the odds are anymore. And play the clip of don't ever tell me the odds of Han Solo. But no, seriously, um, I've been watching a few other people open up some more recent sets and the odds that I remember being in boxes, like you would be guaranteed two secret art or uh, alternative arts, it's now 
different or maybe it's just different with this set. I don't know. I don't know. So some nice ones there. I know Renamon will sell once the furries find out that there's a holographic version of that card. Got some Takato and another Kalamon. Okay, okay. All right. Ooh. Oh my God. We did not just pull it. We did not just pull it. I think I. I am probably going to cry. <laughs> we got the one card. The one card I was looking for. Oh my God. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. Oh my fucking God. Holy fuck. I was expecting to have to pay who knows how much it'd probably be cheaper just to pay for one of these than to buy the boxes to pull it but oh my god oh my god i am sorry i'm taking another photo to post to social but i got the one card that i was looking for i still want to get the guillemon alt art but this was the odds of pulling this Oh my god. I cannot <laughs> look at it. Yes. So here's the regular and there's oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's so good. It is so Beautiful. Oh my god. I am making a Guillaumon card shrine. Um, <laughs> and that card is going to be at the centerpiece of the entire thing. Holy shit. We are not going to get a better box than that unless I pulled like another one or two of those and then I could sell it or whatever. But oh my god. You guys. What do we got here? We got another Henry Wong. Okay. I love these little organizers. They're so handy. They're so cute. All right. And a Mega Gargamon. Nice. Haven't seen one of those yet. Cool. So let's do a quick recap of everything that we pulled that was worth something out of here. So we got the Beelzemon. We got Rika, Renamon, Agardramon, Cyberdramon, Dobermon, Terriermon, Haimako, Guillaumon, Blue Card, Rika, another Rika, uh, Mother D Reaper, Golfmon, Altar. Oh, yeah, I did pull this alt art. I forgot about this in the excitement of Beelzemon. And, um, wow, cool. Well, hey, I got that Golfmon, which is just a SR, but it's an alternative art. And we got another. So that was the first half of the box. And then that second half. That second half. Yes, Steve, what is up? Thank you for joining me. I um this box is absolute fire. So the one card that I've said now probably too many times. The one card I've been looking for. Looking forward to hopefully one day owning. Who knows how much I was gonna pay for it, but I was able to pull my very first box. That is something fantastic. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. And we also got a, oh yeah. Okay. So I got three alt arts in this, right? Okay. So one, two, sorry, Takato. And then we got the secret rare of Beelzemon blast mode. And then back over here, yes, we got the, um, oops, Mother D Reaper wants to come with. Um, so the big hits from this box that I pulled looks like Blast Mode, Takata, oh my god, I'm going to cry, Dobermon, and Golfmon. So all in all, fantastic, fantastic first box. Um, box topper was the Dragon Mode. Oh my gosh, that was, I don't, nothing's going to live up to that. That absolutely did it. All right.
should I move on to box number two? I uh, let's do it. So our box topper in here is Meistimon. Let's take a look there. Ooh. This is the thing I was worried about, Digimon cards. It's just getting so much text here. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. I don't have I don't have time for that. So you're settled in for disappointment now on. That's a great way to <laughs> get pleasantly surprised again. Let's hope. Let's hope. So break off two more of these. All right. No, I um honestly that was the one big hit I was looking for. There's a Guillaumon alternative art in here too. That would be pretty hot to get as well, but who knows? It's got a Yamon. And another Mega Dramon. Okay, cool, cool. By the way, miss you. Hope things have been good. Tell me about over season. Um, yes. So overseas is my new uh, sort of endeavor for business with trading cards. So I was the Digimon card game shop, and that was a very niche. Thing because at the time that I started it, I was very excited about Digimon cards coming to America. TCG Player had no um, sort of uh, uh, recognition even of it until like far into like almost like the first, you know, wave coming out. And so I made Digimon Card Game Shop to sell and help other players get the colors, get the cards that they need for their decks to play. Um, but it was very niche and TCG player came in and kind of, you know, the whole thing I had on my website where I had like all the cards I had for sale, um, was just redundant with TCG player. So what I'm doing with overseas is kind of rebranding that, but encapsulating more. So just not Digimon cards, but trading cards all over. Like I'm getting into Pokemon magic and I'm so fucking excited for the new one piece game coming out later this year. It comes out next month, I believe July, uh, july 22nd in japan so i'm gonna be opening some of those on here but that is um the game that i'm so excited for so i wanted to just you know create something that i could sell trading cards manga and collectibles and i'm going to be opening up a brick and mortar shop hopefully by the end of this year to sell just that so exciting exciting i got my business tax id i got you know my llc going um, everything I just need now is like, um, pretty much like a business loan. And then like to kind of go through the final paperwork to get a lease rolling on a space, um, somewhere near where I live. Um, there's a lot of schools cause I used to work in schools with children and they love card games. So like I found a couple spots that are like right next to like elementary, middle, even high schools. So I feel like that's going to be a fun audience to kind of bring into the shop and kind of teach and kind of get more comfortable with these card games because um, I feel like they I, I would have killed for something like that if I was in you know grade school again Trey what's up hey the office is looking awesome thank you yeah so we just moved um well not just moved we've um it's been about half a year now so this is my new setup and I do a lot of meetings uh here because I work remote most of the time now and um just had to make this little corner look nice but yeah so you missed you missed a hellaciously good box the first box um you'll have to rewatch and see what we get and there guillemon and another blue card gosh i cannot get over that we have a pack now or a set now that has strictly tamer cards like i'm thinking about reaching out and trying to find some japanese ones so that i can have kind of a collection of Japanese and English, sort of like what I did for the first five sets. Let's see, Cyberdramon and Dobermon. Um, like here, I can show you real quick. So I was doing these like living, um, I've pulled a few of these out. Um, these living binders where I have both English and Japanese for a lot of these. Yeah. You haven't touched it since set five. Same, same. I, um, I got out of it hard because I was just like, 
white kind of messed a lot of stuff up for the store, and like I just didn't feel like it was going to keep it up as much. And TCG Player was really ramping up with a bunch of people that were selling that. The arts for these cards are looking even better. Yes. Um. This. Ugh. Oh come on. This set particularly is gorgeous, and I. I mean. I don't, I don't like some of them that are just like, they look like they're straight from an episode of Digimon. Like that's, I don't know. I don't really, really care for that, but like, ugh, looks, it looks so good. And they, yeah, like this one, come on. They could have, they could have commissioned somebody to, to make that. Right. I don't know. Ooh, J Justimon Blitzarm. I think I had one of those in the last box. But, yeah, I haven't touched it since Battle of Omni um, for you guys for the store, like, those last box sets that I did. Um, and I kind of packed it away, and after moving and looking into everything again and kind of buying a couple, you know, packs of, like, I think it was Next Adventure? And just kind of, like, getting, you know, giddy about finding all these different cards and doing that again. I pulled all my binders out and started listing them on TCG Player and then kind of worked my way into, hey, I should open up my own store because I do really love this. And there's a lot of ways that I could gather a community together locally as well as online and um, just kind of spread that love of these different card games. Totally quit the game, but I can still appreciate the game for what it is. Card Fight Vanguard. That is one that I'm. I got an app on my phone to play, and I I'm 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 enjoying it. I feel like a little overwhelmed because there's a lot to. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I got both of the cards I was looking for. That never happens because alt arts are so hard to get. Is that Parasite Mon in the pa last pack a full art? Yes. So they they do that for some of the rares. Um, let me find them real quick. They do that for some of the rares. In every set they have. Yeah. So in a lot of other card games, this would be considered more rare because it's... I guess it's an uncommon, um, because it's full art, but they do that. I guess it's for level sixes, right? Not, not rares. Um, just because it's like a bigger, stronger Digimon, but holy shit, holy shit. This plus this from the last box. That is all that I was really looking for. I am so just shocked <laughs> because I ordered from a shop that's kind of local to me. It's it's a little bit down the down the street, and they they're interesting. But I got there at a specific time from work because I worked half today, and then I did the rest from remote from home. Uh oh, come on, phone. Oh, what's going on with my phone? But um. Basically, everything that went into it, I, in my head, was like, they're going to set those sets aside. They're going to have those ready, so I can go in at any time and get it. And I'm very glad now that I went in when I did, because they pulled them straight out of the box and then just handed them to me. Like, they didn't have them organized or sorted or anything. So I literally lucked out tremendously here by getting there when I did because a guy like had bought like an entire crate beforehand and then some other like mom was in there like get, grabbing her two sets and then I got my you know handful of them and <laughs> they th those boxes I don't know I, this is such a good box I'm so happy I'm so excited I think Lauren just came home too Lauren hello and a Renamon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pretty. Getting on the pulls. Yeah, these are hit. These hits are going really good. Lauren, remember the two cards that I said that I really wanted to pull for this set? Do you, do you remember which ones I was telling you? Something Mon and Something Mon. Well, that's Digimon. They all have <laughs> that name. But no, I said I wanted the Geomon alt art. I pulled it here in the second box. And remember how I said this is the one card that I want the Takato? Oh, yeah, I remember uh, Takato. 
I pulled this in the first box. Oh my god, congratulations! Thank you. Uh, as Steve said, it's pretty much all downhill from here. <laughs> It's a way to temper, you know, my expectations to maybe be pleasantly surprised again. Yeah. So, yeah. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Give me one second. I'm going to just. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's my shoes. I told my mom oh. not to worry about it. She's like, don't even take them back. I'm like, you guys are moving. I will hold on to my shoes. So I just put them on. Mm -hmm. dress, they How'd the dress fitting go? It went well. Yeah? Yeah. Uh-oh. Should I mute? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh! And not even doing anything crazy. Guys, we're getting married, and we're also getting like throttled by our wallets. Like, holy shit. $700, $700. And it's not even like anything insane. Like, it's something that Jess could probably do. <laughs> Have her do it then. I'm like, ma'am, I sew. <laughs> I know that this is not $700 worth of work, but I, what, 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 what am I going to say? Right. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. I'm going to, hey, look, a regular Takato. Love these cards. Um, I'm going to finish this box, and then depending on how I feel and everyone else feels, um, we might do the other boxes. Because I bought three of these to open. Um, so I have this one. And then I also have the box set that almost got me back into Digimon a couple months ago, which was the Classics Collection, which I really want to pull some alternative arts to these because they look just like the original card game and I'm been freaking out trying to, to, to stave myself off because I'm like if I open them now I'm gonna be I, I need to do it on camera because then people people won't believe me <laughs> if I pull something like I just did well good luck I hope you pull a $700 card um <laughs> well I don't have BT I don't have double diamond I think double diamond has the ghost omnimon which is worth like a I don't know yeah $500 so, yeah. I'll leave you to it. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's continue these boxes. That was the lovely Lauren. And, yeah, she went and did her dress fitting today. And $700 um, alteration fee. Oh, my God. I can't. I My mouth went dry when she said that. Holy crap. And another Beelzemon. Yeah! I think it was um, Yoshi, Yoshi Sidaraso, former Power Ranger, Blue Ranger, is super into Digimon game as well, and he was looking for some Beelzemon, so I wonder if he got those or not, because I might be able to work something out with him, because <gasps> this is a good pack, this is a good pack, <laughs> here we go, um, man, I these sets are small, and so you see a lot of the, oh, 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 oh my God. Okay. I gotta, I gotta sleeve this one immediately. Oh my God. Sorry for anybody who was wearing uh, earbuds. This right here is a secret rare, as you can see. Secret rare are, if you're not familiar with the Digimon card game and you're just here to be lovely and supported, um, secret rare is, as the name would suggest, very hard to pull. So in the last box, we pulled this secret rare, Blastmon. Beelzemon Blastmon. And that's really hard to do because secret rares... Um, they're not always a given, especially like because you can get a secret rare or an alternative art. Um, and then they have secret rares that have alternative arts. And that is what this is. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy, holy, holy shit. I got to take another screenshot of me going like, ooh. There we go. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, what is this box? What are these boxes? I have been kissed by some sort of card god. What in the world? I got to put some funny emoji faces of like my head exploding like, oh. Uh. Yeah, we'll do we'll do the crying in a puddle and then we'll do some screaming faces and that'll be good. <laughs> 
Got to get the good poggers face for the fans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> English got the classic collection. Yes. Um, oh, my God. What else can I pull out of this? Yeah. Oh, my God. Exodia. Exodia uh, himself? Herself? I don't know. <laughs> don't want to misgender Exodia. We got another Henry Wong. Oh, my God. This card right here, you guys, is worth... $65. That's about the price of this box set on its own. $65. Um, that's amazing. That's absolutely phenomenal. No, I can't even talk. <laughs> oh, my God. In, in some regards, I'm glad I'm not doing the booster draft for these boxes because whoever, this probably would have been Trey, whoever would have bought the purple would have gotten the best oh my god like i've gotten two beelzelmon i've gotten one of each in both boxes so far i just need to get the the parallel art the alternative whatever art of the other um main beelzelmon what does that one look like oh that one's really cool i think that one i like that one the most i'm not gonna I'm, there's no way i can show it to you right now without sharing my whole screen but <laughs> If we, we're going to find it. I, I have a good feeling. Um, there's four Beelzelmon in this set. There's the two regular and then the two blast mode. But the regular alternative art is the best looking one, I think. So hopefully we get that and I can <laughs> show it off. Got Gigamon so cute with the little smiley apples. Oh, I love it. Gigamon. Oh, Gigamon's whole line. Best boy. Best Best boy. He reminds me of my cat. If my cat was a Digimon, that would be Geomon. And Gallantmon. Hey, we didn't get one of those in the last box. So good to see Gallantmon here. I know it's only like a $2 card. Um, apparently a lot of other people have pulled a bunch of them, but this is my first one. And it's lovely. I have the whole set in line now. Battle of Beelzelmon. Yeah, well, there's only two technically, but there's um, the, the the alternative art ones. I think they had two Beelzelmon in the first set. So, yeah. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, we're back. Let's see. Now I'm kind of just like wanting to skim through these as fast as I can, but I know there's fun in kind of elongating and dragging this out a little bit just to see what's in here. But, oh my god. Hold on. I got a Discord message real quick. Oh! People are joining the Discord! Yay! Trey, thank you! Um, so I had a Discord for the Digimon Card Game Shop, and then I shut it down just because like... I, I don't know. I like to declutter a lot of the sidebar stuff, but there's a link down below of a new discord that I literally just made like 20 minutes, 30 minutes ago um, that I'm going to hopefully create into kind of a landing page for overseas ETC and just getting a lot of people um, together to hopefully like do like card game stuff, um, any, any other kind of stuff. All right, Trey, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, Definitely double check the replay on this to see if I pull anything uh, else good. You'll probably see the photo on Twitter just because I've been like, you know, <laughs> hamming that up. But thank you so much for hanging out. Have a good uh, time at work. But yeah, there's a Discord link down below as well as another link for a service called What or what is it called? What not? <laughs> I almost called it What Now. Um, and I could take a little second here to talk about What Now or What Not. Why do I keep calling it What Now? <laughs> But uh, Whatnot is a app and a service that you can, um, basically what I'm doing right now, it's a more streamed line version. Like think of um, kind of like an infomercial, sort of like, remember those like QVC uh, TV shows? It's like that for this. So I'm, I've been reached out to by some people from Whatnot to become a creator. I just, you know, got everything started today. I went through the onboarding and everything of becoming a seller on there. Otherwise I would be doing it there, but 
I'm going to be doing box breaks and color drafts and everything that I used to on there and like offering up some of these cards for like giveaways and stuff like that. Um, but it's basically like a fun interactive auction house um, for people who love the card games that you're breaking and opening. So like Digimon and Magic, Vanguard, all those good ones. So if you can, please use the link down below and sign up for what now? <laughs> They're going to kill me. <laughs> Use the link down below to sign up for Whatnot, and you can uh, continue to hang out with me and other people on the service to um, continue breaking boxes and to continue, you know, pushing the love for Digimon. So, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to have to do one more of those before we're done that, that's cleaner that I can, I can send to them to say, look, I am doing, I am pushing people from my other platforms, even though this platform has, like, 17 subs i could have streamed it from my main account but i don't know i just I kind of maybe want to keep that one dead for a while let's see we have terrier mon yeah i think these this set has only 74 types total so there's 26 common 20 uncommons 18 rares eight super rares and two secret rares um and we got one of those secret rares, we got both versions. If we can get the other one, I know that the, is it Gallant Mon? Yeah, Gallant Mon Crimson Mode alt art is about a $60 card. So not as much as the one we pulled with Beelzemon, but still, I want to see it. I want to pull it. Ooh, Renamon and Sakuyamon. That's kind of a cool little, look at this. <laughs> The, oh my god, these last cards that I just pulled in this pack, it's the entire family of Renamon. Well, no, it's missing one of them, but that's pretty cool. Love that we finally have a Tamers set. But, yeah. Steve, did you ever watch Digimon? Do you like Digimon at all? If you did watch, what was your favorite season and it's either probably going to be Tamers or Frontier. There's not a whole lot of difference of opinion between those two. People pretty much agree that those are the best. The best. There's some fans that love the OG one too, but I guess Season 2 is pretty good too. It's all really good up until about Season 5. But oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot you're a little bit older, so probably didn't hit the same being in like what well, middle school high school maybe um so that makes sense but that first series hits so good as as a youth <laughs> um i love digimon so much i had the vhs's i would oh my god i just couldn't get enough of it and the vhs didn't have like all of the episodes and so it was really kind of frustrating to to be a fan when i was really young <gasps> <gasps> I didn't know that this was a thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I need to open up a new one of these top loaders. Oh my god. I think I watched the movie. Yeah, the movie's the best. Holy crap. Oh my god. Get open. Fucking open. Oh my god. I mm. It's a gallant mon. He's he's the guy on the on the cover of the set. He is Giomon's like end all be all like basically like his best form right so we pulled one of him earlier we pulled the regular this box had two gallon in it one regular and one oh my god look at the texture ah can i get it can i get it oh my god it's such a pretty card this is gorgeous oh my gosh gorgeous 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 card what a pull what a pull um i guess the only one that i'm really still like i wish i got this oh i guess gallant mon isn't his end all be all i misspoke there there's one above that it's crimson mode but um it's universally like considered like one of his big ones um it's a 15 dollars card not bad i'm looking for the gigimon alternative art now that is the last one that I want. I don't care about Gallant Mon secret art, but that's a lot of Gallant Mon. Yes, it is. Oh my God. That was a great hit. 
Okay, okay, okay. What else do we got? Cool. Well. Is it? No, because there's crimson mode, which in the it, it's higher. So like Gallant Mon is a level six. So crimson mode is a level seven. So technically it's above it. But this box, we got the secret rare Beelzemon Blast Mode alternative art. Um, we got a regular Beelzemon. We got the Geomon alternative art. And we also got us a Mastimon for our box topper. So we got both of the box toppers. I think there's only two. So we got both of them. There's that Gallantmon regular and alt art. And I think everything else is just a basic rare or super rare that we've already had. Yes. But second box. Okay, so if the first box was really good for, I guess this one's good for Geomon too, but like, that Beelzemon, oh my gosh. And the Geomon, yes, I'm so, so pumped. And kind of like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to um, make like a little Geomon mural. And so there's a lot of good cards in this that I'm going to put towards that. Um, so, excited. All right, should we do one more box? Should we do one more box? Should we do this? Which box is spicier? Um, the first one, just because I was really, really looking for that Takato card. I'm not, I'm not a huge Beazamon fan, so like, I'm probably just gonna sell that card. So that was exciting to pull something that literally paid for the whole box. But this one, just everything about it, like. The, the, the holographic lines from his Digivice, Gallantmon in the back, the background itself, it's it's a really good card. This is the one that I was really, really, really hoping for. But again, pulling something like this, it's great. I'll 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 take it every day. Kind of art is fine, fine stuff. Yeah. So should I do another box of this or should I do another a box of the classic collection or should I just do both? I'm thinking I might just do both. Let's speed through this next set because we've seen all the cards I feel so far. So it should be pretty fast to kind of go through them. Um, Imperial German Dragon Mode, that texture on it is such a hot card. So we have... Two of those and only one Mastimon, so that's good. I would rather have both than all three of one. <laughs> well, there you go. Easy decision. Yes, sir. So let's fly through, seeing what's in store here. So we got another Gallantmon. Woohoo! Right off the bat. I got to preserve one of these uh, booster booster packs so that I, I use them for like sorting <gasps> Ooh! oh there's a good hit right in number two this is a leomon alternative art and i don't think it's going for a whole lot yeah it's not even on the first page damn it ah damn it it's only six dollars but still it's a really good looking card i'm gonna hold on to it for a while because i'm sure it's got some good ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too bad. Um, but I'm sure the price will go on it because it's an alternative art. And it's really hard. Like, I, I know I can't stress that enough, but it's really hard to pull alternative arts that you specifically want. Like, you can go into a box and be like, I want to pull, like, at least one or two of these SRs. I want to pull at least one of these secret rares. And most of the time, you can do that. But it's impossible... It's near impossible to pull a secret alternative art or a specific alternative art because there's just so many of them. All right, I'm going to open this pack really, really gingerly so that I can preserve it. Don't mind me. Ah, oh, this one's not opening good. Look at that. Damn it. 
I tried. You saw. And we have another Beelzemon. Oh, my God. That is what? We have five Beelzemons between three boxes so far. Jesus. And yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Mm -mm. There we go. That's a little bit better. Maybe I should open it from the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to open up one from the bottom. <laughs> Just because I'm thinking of how I'm going to sort this. When's the wedding again? That is September 17th. This year, we are going to be wed. Ooh, I don't think I've seen too many of these. Um, yes, September 17th. And I think I've disclosed the location to you, but it has changed. Um, so just send me a message and I'll let you know. Because we've been kind of slow on everything of like getting like save the dates out and getting, um, you know, invites out to. Damn. Um, excited for you too. Thank you, Steve. We do appreciate that. We are very happy and I think... The wedding we've got a lot of cool stuff planned so i'm excited to see it and just be in it that day um for my wedding suit i even got a suit from the tv show peaky blinders so i'm gonna look hot as shit um the registry i believe is we just have a target one i think so that is that I can get you a link to that later, but you honestly, you don't have to get us anything. I appreciate it. But I know we, we ran through a target, uh, a couple months ago and like just added a bunch of stuff cause they don't have those guns anymore. You can't just run through target and shoot the stuff you want. You have to, um, do it on your phone, which was a huge pain using that app. So we did that and got that out of the way. And, ugh, I didn't want to get this all hard. <laughs> but there it is. I and Mako, this is another not very expensive card. Yeah, it's $10. I mean, it's still something. But it could have been something much better. But just kind of like the Takata one. Got Beelzemon in the back. It's still a cute card. Thank you. So let's hope for a big hit here. We're almost halfway done with this extra last box. And no, no, no. Come on now. Another Guillemot and blue card pack so we are 12 packs left of this set and i need that gigamon baby card alternative art well there's another did, did we already pull one of these Golfmon? is this even a i don't think this is an alternative rare or alternative art no that's not we pulled the alternative art earlier that's just the regular one i got confused i'm 30 years old now i'm losing things daily up in my brain so <laughs> no worries no worries i got the the uh digital hazard tcg player page up so i can quickly scroll through everything that's on like the most valuable you know market high to low page so if it's not on that page, it probably wasn't too good of a hit. There's another Mega Gargomon. Nice, nice. The Gid Gigimon is only like $19, but I'd rather pull it. Why not like the rest of us? Yeah, I'd rather pull it than pay somebody else for it. I don't know. It just feels more honorable that way, you know? 
Like if I, I feel like if I pay someone, yeah, that's good. They get money for that card that they, they pulled just kind of like what I'm doing for cards that I don't want. Um, and that's good for them. I'd want that for me if I was selling that card, but I just, I'm like, I don't want to admit that defeat, you know? And maybe that's just the gambler side in me, which is dangerous when it comes to these kinds of games. But, man, nothing really hitting. Hopefully these last four packs do something good. Um, that's just like the gambler side in me is that I want to, you know, buy another box. Buy, buy some more. Poor guy all of 30. Just a mom blitz arm. I think I got one of those in each box. I'm trying to see if there's, oop, if there's anything else that I haven't picked up in any of these boxes yet another Geomon blue card like this is like what our fourth one that had that rarity combo for the end of the pack interesting okay I think we got a parallel here an alt art of <gasps> Ooh, that's a really good one terrier mon yay look at that look at that Ooh, look at that yeah, Terramon, not my favorite. There's actually um, Poltergeist Steve, Steve, um, the other Steve I know. Well, I guess I know a bunch of Steves. I know Steve Sakai, I know you, I know Poltergeist Steve. Damn. This is his favorite um, Digimon, kind of like Geomon is for me. This is his. So maybe he still wants to collect or plays because I think he would would absolutely love one of those and right now on TCG player it's only going for nine dollars not terrible but I'm glad it was something that I didn't have so for the final pack Dobermon and a Cyberdramon so the only real big hits we got here was that Terriermon nothing really in that second second side um we got the alt art of I and Mako. Uh, another Beelzemon. And yeah, just pretty much cards that we already had. So good. Two little pulls. Could have done more, but that's okay. I really wanted to get that regular alt art Beelzemon because then we would have had every Beelzemon uh, known to man. So yeah. All right. And let's, let's shimmy through this here too. Just clean up my trash real quick. Yeah, I am definitely an impulse buyer. So this here is the classic collection. Um, as you'll note, this is EX01. The set we were just opening was EX02. And these are just like extra sets. Um, kind of as the name would imply 73 types in total um very cheap set to get like you can get one of these boxes for like 30 to 45 dollars like very cheap compared to like 80 dollars that like some of those other boxes are you know um but the pull to these are the um the alternative arts so if you can pull some of those alternative arts you are going to be sitting very very good with um reselling or collecting collecting is a nightmare for this set because there are so many alternative arts i'm trying to pull up the set real quick but there are some really really good ones in here like i'm looking for analog youth who is like the main character from the digimon world game um and really i'm just excited to see like which alternative arts i get of the guards so let's open these and let's boogie through so our box topper is War Greymon. Let's do it. So yeah, like very, very old classic style with these. Tapermon. I love these old arts. Oh man. Stingmon. Ooh, looking these are cool looking. I I know I shouldn't like these because they're, um, I don't know what the, what the word is. It's kind of pandering, um, and they're not very, very good for playing, I've read a few places. Um, like, the cards just are kind of like, whatever, they're kind of meh. But, uh, I 
can't I can't it just brings back so much nostalgic memories especially like cards like the Gabumon you know like there are just some cards that just some things that you just look at and it just immediately puts you back to where you were sitting on the top of your bunk bed eight years old trying to teach yourself the Digimon card game back in the day back when it was basically just a glorified rock paper scissors oh my gosh this card, Piedmon, I had um, the holographic one of these from the original game when I was young. I, I don't know. I would just stare at it all the time because, like I said earlier, the Digimon VHSs, you didn't have, like, all the episodes. So the only episodes you had were, like, the first four, and then there was nothing for the longest time. And I was just like, okay, fuck me, I guess. And then I got the cards, and I got this one, and I was just like, what is this? What is this? Um, and literally, like, a month later, for Easter, my mom got me a new VHS tape of Digimon. And it's literally, like, the end of the series where they're fighting Piedmon. And I was just like, oh, it's him! <laughs> anyway, that just... Oh, hey, there's an analog youth. Um, that just kind of brought me back. So that's the regular. Um, is it just a rare? Yeah. The secret rare is Machindramon. And yeah. Okay, cool. I opened up one of these packs uh, like two weeks ago and I got an analog youth out of it and I sold it for like, I don't know, like $5. How much did I sell it for? I sold it for a couple dollars because people still want it. But that alt art is one of the most beautiful cards I've seen. Um, it's so nostalgic and it's going for $60. So let's hope we pull that. God, look at some of these. Crazy. So far, nothing yet. No secret rares. No alt arts. I hope they're saving themselves for the last packs. Keep it spicy. But God, even some of this art. Oh my gosh. Brings me back. Have I pulled anything better than a rare yet? Rare, rare, rare. Rare, rare. Rare, rare. Okay, I, I got one super rare. But whatever how's how's life going for you steve how are things your way i don't know if i asked when you first came in and i i'm sorry um but how are things going on your end nice oh you gotta run i just saw that so sorry steve well if you're watching the replay Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I miss you guys. This was fun hanging out with some of you guys. <gasps> I got an alt art. What is it? What is it? What is it? It is. Ah. Uh, oops. Wrong pile. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to put those over there and these over here. Damn it. <laughs> Why this one? Why Palmon? Oh, my God. But the text on the side, the stupid, like, graph grid, that was peak. Digimon back in the day. Yeah, this one's not even on the first page. I bet this one's like $2. Oh my god, it's $3. This is bullshit. <laughs> Damn it, Palmon. Uh, nobody likes you. This is bogus. So that's what that's what Palmon goes into is that big stupid cactus thing. Togemon. Uh Wait, what happened over here? Boom. <laughs> I'm losing it. That's what happens when you open four boxes in a row. Lose it a little bit. But yeah, is anybody still here? I doubt it. But I will be moving everything over to the WhatNot platform very soon. Um, like I said, I just finished the onboarding and going over all the seller aspects with the team today. Um, they have a lot of sellers on there. It's really cool, but they're super um, helpful and inclusive. And like we went over like a little seminar to just kind of like showcase how you do the stuff. Like because some people come from, you know, very heavy ooh, streaming backgrounds and some don't. But um, if you're watching this and you want to join me over on the Whatnot ad, I have a link down below. It's invite slash overseas ETC. And that will bring you to my page. Um, 
sign up, give me a follow, and oops, when I start doing um, more stuff on that service, when I start doing like auctions and breaks and whatnot, you can hang out with me there. Um, I'm very excited. It's really cool platform. It's like those old um, QVC infomercial channels, but like for cards and stuff, you know, like it's really catered to um, finding people and selling and doing all that really fun stuff while streaming, like doing this, but there's a bunch of people there and a bunch of people are like, you know, bidding and winning and having fun. So it just kind of drives everything a lot more, which is cute. I love it. I was hooked on the idea as soon as I saw it. Ooh, look at that old art. Metal Greymon. Love it. Come on. Come on. Analog youth. Alternative art. Let's see ya. Let's see ya. Ooh, this Vmon is cute. I didn't know that they had Vmon in this. Cute. Oh my god. Nice, nice. Feel like I'm getting a lot of repeats already just on this first box. Oh, there's something good coming up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes! $60! Oh! Yes! Sorry for anybody wearing headphones or earbuds or whatever. Um, you're probably bleeding right now. But this is hot as fuck. That right there. Analog Youth. Like I said, he's from the original Digimon World game. But look at how wonderful this card is they got nunimon down there they got sunimon agamon uh the like black war graymon or not war graymon metal graymon oh my god this is just such a beautiful card oh look at a little marimon over here in the window oh my god and the texture on it too oh yo yo <laughs> very very happy with that oh my god i don't even care what's in the rest of this box that that's what i wanted that's what i was gunning for actually no that's not true i do want to get another alternative art <laughs> of one of the regulars maybe i can pull another one here because i just i love the retro style of it i love the the name down the side like the old cards used to be and there's another analog use so i pulled three of them from here Two regular, one stunning alternative art. <sighs> it's a good day. It's a good day for box openings. Yeah? You feel? You dig? Let's see? Ooh, Venom My Otis Mon. Cool. Didn't have that one yet. Okay, three more packs. And then I'm going to call it quits for today. I think we're going bowling um, and getting some pizza. Being real American today, you know. Um, but yeah, this was, like I said, really, really, really good. Um, good fun stream. I know there wasn't a whole lot of people in here. I don't even know if anybody's ever going to hear this or watch this. But if you watched this whole thing, a part of it, whatever, you just dropped in for a second just to see what I was up to. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for just supporting in that small little way um it means a lot especially because i'm trying new things and new ventures because i could have easily just put this on my my main account but i didn't want to do that all right last pack here is cool well the two that we pulled out of that analog youth and i guess i should top top load you to palmon Those are our two big hits from this box. We got Palmon and Analog Youth. This card right here could buy you two of these boxes. It's almost like an infinity money glitch. If I sold this and then I bought two more boxes and pulled two more, I could just keep going for who knows how long. Nobody would be able to stop me. I would be the next Bill Gates. I'd be the next... Um, 
I, actually, I wouldn't be like any of them because I would probably give a lot of that money away to help other people. But you get what I mean. So these are great sets. This, obviously not as fun as the Tamers. Tamers is really what got me back into Digimon, the card game. And yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for just hanging out, chilling. Look, I got all this new setup so I can like do fun little... Ooh. It's only a little intrusive with with that but that's all i have so i'm gonna end it there and um yeah i will catch you on the next time i will catch you over on whatsapp or not whatsapp what the fuck is whatsapp is that that texting thing on whatnot.com um where got a link down below you know the whole spiel by now all right i'm gonna end this <laughs> before i embarrass myself anymore